It doesn't matter whose rankings you look at, Omaha's Henry Dorley Zoo and Aquarium is always at or near the top of the best zoos in America. I'm Zach Williamson, and just like many of you, this zoo is all I've ever known. We grew up here and have watched it grow too. When someone visits our city, it's often the first place we send them. That's why I want to learn more about the animals that call this place home and better introduce you to our furry, feathery, scaly, slimy, and very unique neighbors. I mean, the eyelashes, everything about her is just beautiful. She is stunning, and when you see her, she makes a statement. <laughs> it's Carew's world. We're just living in it. She is our little diva, our queen, and we just love her. Carew is a nine-year-old southern ground hornbill. So she still has probably, I don't know, 60, 70 more years. So she's just a young one. Her most eye-catching characteristic, it's her waddle or also known as throat pouch. She has that violet patch that you might see. That is what distinguishes a male from a female. So a male is gonna have all red, so you can tell she is a lovely female from that violet throat pouch. The wingspan, I mean, how, how big it does, uh, does Karu get? Her wingspan is up to six feet. So when she does fly, she goes far fast. But as Carew's species name suggests, you're more likely to see her strutting around on the ground. They travel many, many miles a day, but mostly on foot. When it's chow time, well, nothing is safe from these birds. We call her our little garbage disposal. So she is opportunistic. She eats anything she can find, whether that be small mammals. Snakes are her favorite to catch, but she likes to catch bugs. And then she also eats lots of fruits and vegetables and any plant she can find outside. She loves it all. <laughs> the southern ground hornbill is listed as a vulnerable species. Keeper Christina Allen Hall says their mating habits play a role in that. They take care of their young for a full nine years before they have another one. So they are wonderful mothers. They live in large family groups. So when you only have a baby every nine years, it's kind of hard to keep up their population. And now you can be that parent in Carew's life. So if you go to the foundation website, you can symbolically adopt Carew specifically, and that helps to, I mean, feed her and give her all the lovely enrichment that she wants to destroy. That's omahazoofoundation.org. You can see Carew at the Meadowlark Amphitheater every day at 11 a.m. from Memorial Day to Labor Day, where she will participate in the free flight bird show. Next week, I'll introduce you to one of the largest lizards in the animal kingdom. From Omaha's Henry Dorley Zoo and Aquarium, I'm Zach Williamson.